I'm Dee, also known as the Divine Friend. And this is an easy sequence for those of you that are just starting out with yoga, need a gentle sequence, or are pregnant and in your first trimester. So just taking a comfortable seated pose. You can bring your heels to heel, sitting nice and tall, taking easy breaths through the nose and out through the nose. Take a deep inhale, brace your palms together over your heart. Feel your heart beating for you. Deep breath in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Two more times, inhale and exhale. One more, deep breath in and exhale. Whenever you're through, just blink open your eyes. And let's just reach all the way over to one side, reaching all the way up with your arm, opening up your chest, looking up towards the sky or ceiling. As you exhale, come back to center, inhale, tilts you over just a little bit towards the opposite side. Exhale, brings you back. Inhale, opens you up towards the other side. Moving at your own breath, taking it real nice and easy. Coming right back to center, bring your palms together, interlace your fingers. Bring them back behind your back, open up your chest. For a nice easy fold, drop the head down through the center. Breathing full and deep into your upper part of your ribs and chest. You can bring your arms down over your head so you can feel that expansion in your ribs. As you inhale and exhale. And if your head doesn't touch the mat or the floor, you could either use a block or use your hands. Two fists always work. And if it, it's pretty far from the floor, you know, just be real gentle with your neck. Coming up on all fours here, let's find a comfortable, comfortable position. And checking in with your alignment. Take a deep breath in through the nose, look up and exhale, curl the back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, curl the back. Deep breath in. Exhale, little cat cow there. Sitting all the way back on one hip, coming up with an inhale, exhale. Deep breath in through the nose and exhale. Just lubricating the joints there, opening up the fingers real nice and wide. Starfish fingers, I like to call it. Just take your time in finding your movement, feeling easy with your energy. Gently walk your hands forward, maybe drop the hips down. Looking behind one shoulder as you inhale and exhale for a nice twist. Do it a few times. If this is uncomfortable for your lower back, you can stay on your knees. And then whenever you're ready, let's prepare for our child's pose. Just widening the legs, dropping the belly real nice and deep towards the floor. Remember, you could always use your fists to Hold your forehead up. It gives you a nice, long, flat back. Breathing full and deep here for a few breaths. Let's take it easy. Opening the fingers, nice spread with them wide like a starfish. Flex your feet, toes into the mat. Maybe you walk a little side to side. Sit bones way up into the air into your first downward facing dog. Exhale, coming into a tabletop just to have less pressure on your abdomen there. Exhale, coming all the way down, using your knees. Inhale, open up the chest, looking all the way up. Relax your entire back there as you sit on back through a downward facing dog. So you can do two or three of those if it feels real good, just going up into downward facing dog, coming back onto your knees, exhaling down. So let's prepare ourselves here to strengthen our lower back, reaching out with the opposite arm, opposite leg, kicking on back. See if you can reach for your toes and open up your chest. Nice, easy breathing here. Come right back to center, deep breath in through the nose, exhale, push on back. You can point your toes or you can flex your foot. And then 
reach on back for your toes if that feels good, maybe looking back. Just taking it real easy here. Keeping your balance. And then gently sit on back through to your child's pose. So you can do a few of those if it feels real good. I normally like to do a set of three. It's really comfortable, builds strength in the lower back, so flexibility in your hamstrings, your hips, your quads. You can do a few sets. And it also works on your resistance and your balance. And once you're through there, just find a comfortable seated position. I normally like to sit on my shins. So I take a deep breath in through the nose. I reach up with one arm and see if my fingers want to hang out with each other. So here's a little demonstration. Maybe the fingers touch and they hang out. And if they don't, no big deal, you know. The idea is just to open up the chest. If they don't, you could always place gently one hand on the neck or the back of the head, or you could even grab your shirt to help open up your chest there. As you inhale, really expand the chest and the lungs. So just go ahead and do it on both sides, breathing real nice and easy. And then whenever you're done, find a comfortable seat, legs forward. Let's bring the right leg over the left, and if you can, bring the left under. Otherwise, just keep the left straight sitting nice and tall. So same arm, same leg. Place the elbow to the knee. The opposite arm goes behind the spine for an easy opening stretch. Just try to stay away from any deep twists at this time. And that one is pretty nice and relaxing. So go ahead and switch sides. Deep breath in through the nose, reaches you way up. Place the elbow down onto the knee. Nice and easy twist there. Exhale, full and deep. No straining, just take it real easy. And once you're through, you can bring your knees together if that feels real good. It's a nice meditative pose where you can just go into a nice, easy, sequence of breathing. Just breathing full and deep through your nose and exhaling through your nose. Or if that's not working, the knees aren't touching, just sit in a regular easy cross leg position or bring your heels to heel. Sitting nice and tall, maybe place your left hand onto your belly button, your right hand on your heart. Take a few deep breaths in through the nose Feel your heart beating for you. Feel your ribs expanding. As you exhale, bring the belly button in towards the spine. So deep breath in through the nose, expands the belly. Exhale, brings it back to the spine. Inhale, brings the belly out. Exhale, brings it back to the spine. So do about six of those at your own pace. No need to rush, just take your time. It's a very calming breath. It soothes a lot of morning sickness or if you're feeling super fatigued, especially in your first trimester, this is great to help boost your energy levels and keep you going for the remainder of the day. Plus connects you to your little growing being. You can also interlace your fingers, placing your thumbs together. This is a nice way to relax your hands I often think of my skin having pores that breathe. So here I am just allowing oxygen into my body and to flow easy. And as I exhale, any toxins or carbon exiting, I'm bringing loving oxygen to my growing baby. Exhaling, relaxing in to my pose. And you can do this for a few breaths I normally do about four to six. And once you're done there, 
Go ahead and place your feet up on the wall. It's a really nice way to get a little blood flow back to your heart. You could also place a pillow behind your head if it feels good. In the first trimester, um, normally we don't have bellies, so laying flat on your back, it's fine. And then go ahead and grab the outer sides of your feet for a nice, happy baby. This helps massage the lower spine, relieves any tension back there for your growing, growing womb. And then just lay down in fetal position, get real cozy. I love to get pillows or cushions and lay on my left side so it can help me practice for as my womb starts to grow. The left side is often a preferred place to lay so that there's no compression on any nerves that could possibly cause you to get dizzy if ever you stand up. So just rest. Be okay with resting. Take a few deep breaths in through the nose. And exhale. And once you're done there, get real cozy. Have a nice seat. So we're nice and tall. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Place your palms together and have them come right over to your chest. Feel your heart beating for you. As you take an inhale, exhale through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose, exhale. One more deep breath in and exhale. And then just relax. Namaste. You can practice that a few times. It'll help you definitely bring some calmness into those really special first trimester hormone swings. 